Hello everyone, it's Panda. Oh, my back hurts so much. Uh, so I had ran into a problem earlier today with my Z new Lanzi quick release plate. If you haven't seen my Instagram feed, check it out, how it broke. I was on the slider, I was moving the slider forward, and then when I hit the stop, like the end of it, it like, pew. and I tell you this right now, guys, I want you guys to look at this. This is a recomposite screw that has been recycled with other components or properties and material. Not very ideal. So I took what was on my uh, my uh, my Leo Photo tripod and I took the screws for my quick hubs. These are not cheap. This one hub was thirty dollars because. I, Guys, look, look what I'm holding in my hand, a carbon fiber hub. <laughs> Think about that, <laughs> okay? It came with this premium screw, all right? But this snapped off, right, off this. So I put a new screw inside, and I put a rubber dies washer with that. You guys are saying, but that's going to interfere. It probably is, but I need it to be secured. Because uh, I had difficulties trying to take this off because the, whatever happened inside, it did some damage. You can see when it broke off, the piece was moving inside. And I was trying to like get it to pop open. I guess it was jammed in the spring mechanism. That's why it couldn't release. So I was doing my best to get this open. So I fixed it. And Yu Long Z did not respond to my Instagram feeds. They saw it. They just don't re they don't respond to photographers. Because we they know we write. Go action GoPro cameras. Come on, that's an easy thing. Anyone can master that. But let me tell, let me actually send a message to Lu Long Z. As a photographer, you have to respond. When there's a problem about your product, you don't look at it and then avoid me. I'm the planet photographer. I'm going to keep nagging you until you make this right. Not just for me, but for everyone. Because it's not on the middle of doing a pan shot. Yes. I believe also the corporate behind it was over time. Now, I've been transporting this. The stress. Now... Lulon Z says that this, this plate was supposed to support more than 20 pounds. Dude, I had less than six pounds on, less than five, and it snapped. With that said, everyone, I just made it better. I just improved it. I made it much more secure, much more stable. And honestly, they're not worth $25 if they're going to break the way they are. I like the simplicity of it. But also, there's other problems that I share with you, like how the teeth in the mouse around here eat up the rubber on your man photo plate. Yeah, when you twist it, yeah, when you tighten it down, it just eats it up because of the teeth. Look at the teeth. So take this with a grain of salt, everyone. I'm a landscape videographer, photographer. I do, I do all genres of photography, micro, light painting, portraits. Not many photographers can say that. Not many can say that, but the one thing I do is I buy premium parts, premium gear. And what I don't like is when a product fails in the middle of a shoot. And that's what happened. What that said, everyone, I am at the, the Vellante Hotel here in, um, what is this place again? Um, Mountain View, California. Uh, a lot of Japanese community. There. I wanted to show you today, but I was so tired, guys. I'm bit, I'm exhausted. I got a back pain. I want to stay here for one more day because I want to show you what's downtown and that area. You're gonna be blown away, guys. Oh wow! You're like that's a lot of Japanese restaurants and Korean restaurants. Wow. Yes. I was walking. I had to walk here. I have to literally walk here because there's no bus. So I have to walk to this street 
I don't know what the street is called. And then I had to take the 22 bus, which was another 10 minute bus ride. It's like, oh, wow, that's not cool. <laughs> and like, and the thing is, I said this earlier about Priceline clickbaiting me, which they did. They clickbaited me again. Tell me the hotel was actually downtown when it's actually not. It's actually in Sunnydale. This is Sunnyvale, California, not Mountain View. Yes, it's between it, but it's not downtown Mountain View like it said it was. I took a screenshot of it, and I showed to Priceline. I tagged them with it. They said, oh, that, it's not, that's not the hotel. Well, it, it, apparently it is. It's titled differently. So when I booked the hotel, it, it wasn't booked Hotel Devante. It was said LA, LA Play Club, something like that. And this is a different title. So that's why I was confused when I walked up here. I was like, is this the same hotel that I booked? They I said, yeah, did the name change? I was like, like I said, Priceline clickbait to me. And mind you, what I mean by clickbait, they made me pay for a room that is non-refundable. What? So I didn't understand why they were trying to push this room so badly, but it was, it said $63, right? Then they charged me another $12 and something for taxes. So I'm like, what? Did I just buy something worth $200 right now? What service fees, all these hidden fees. And then I get charged additional $50 when I get here for a security deposit. That wasn't in, in the in the contract or in the descriptions when booking this. Most people would like to know, know that because I'm a guys. I used to be a member of the of the Hilton. We never get charged security deposits, <laughs> but I do have to say that you know it's stay right to charge. I guess some people here are under suspicion, but I just want to emphasize it. That it's written here. This is why I wish Priceline would have wrote this or presented this before I booked. Because most people are not really fond of booking and then having $50 of their money being taken when they can need it for something else. But it's written here in the fine print that they have a right to charge you $50 for any damages and stuff like that. But I want to emphasize one thing too. Now, checking is between the four... Check-in time is at 4 p.m. Check-out is 11 a.m. I checked in at 10 a.m. this morning. So kudos to the hotel for letting me check in hours before my check-in time. This asks us a question. About San Francisco House, though. I came there about 1 o'clock. I let the young lady know that, hey, how you doing? Good. Yeah, I said, let me give me, give me just a brief because... I went up some hills. <laughs> this is San Francisco, right? I said, she goes, oh, check is 9 into 3. I'm like, okay, but why would you want me to sit around? And wait, I can be in my room, you know. And I understand the rules need to be prepared, be prepared, but there's not a lot of people staying in the hostel. So I know there are rooms ready. <laughs> and that was the saying, wait in and wait in, which is fine. That's normal for the hostel. But right now, COVID... You kind of want to put the guests in the rooms, not have them hang out in the lobby so much. In my opinion, as I've helped the hostels, many hostels before, I know how it works. Mind you, you guys know, I'm a professional photographer. I used to be a teacher. <laughs> I educate. I used to work for <laughs> an agencies or ADCs, which I cannot say because I was told not to. Anymore to mention them in the videos. Yes. So they have been watching my videos. I can't mention them. So, yeah. I try to be transparent as much as possible. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, this hostel, this hotel, sorry. Hotel. Not really ideal for me. I like the space and all, but the comfort but right now, on a budget-wise, I can't afford it. Thanks to you guys last night donating. Oh, my God. You guys helped me get this today. That's why. I swear. I was looking at I, I I did not see it. 
I didn't get no notification that uh, E-Mount donated 20 and uh, Shemek donated another uh, 40 bucks. And I was like, oh, I can get this room now. And I can eat. But then they take the $50. Lucky for me, I don't do a lot of excessive spinning. I'm glad that I kept that money because I was about to go nuts and buy food that morning when I saw the PayPal. I was really hungry. And then I was like, no. People kept texting me, asking me where I was. Are you okay? What can you do to help? You helped me before. Why don't you want me to help you? And it's like, it's, I, 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 would, I, I would actually help when I need it. It's, I, I want people to help me in certain, in certain things. I know what they're good at. That's why. I know people at their skill sets. I know they can help me in that category. They might not ever, ever, ugh, they may not be able to help me in another category, but the purpose is to help me in the category they are fit to know and best doing. And yes, they're not all, not all the, the, the suggestions are agreeable. Oh yeah. Oh, I need to put this on because actually, no, I'm not going to waste batteries. I just charge batteries. I almost ran out of battery last night. It, it, it shows that I need another battery brick. I need another powerful, large battery brick. I don't have the money for that either. Because I don't think there's... Also, I want to talk about the Yulon Z, the 600, 600 milliamp hour battery brick for the GoPro. I don't think that's a 600... A 600... Uh, 6800 uh, 6, milliamp hour battery. Why? We was doing a live stream yesterday. Remember that? Was it yesterday or the day before? And it died within 30 minutes. Mind you, that, that GoPro had a full charge. I didn't plug it in until the charge went down to like 40%. Don't ask me where... Don't ask me where the... Where the power went. I don't know. And I believe it has... Some type of phantom power? I don't know. I'm not phantom power. I think it's draining power or some sort. And it's still charging. Which is skeptical. Because the blue light is still... Oh, it's off now? It was, it was charging for this long. For, it was charging for eight hours. That's how long it took. So I might have a defect battery brick. Yeah, it just finished. Because I plugged it in about 30 minutes ago. The, the blue light was still on. So... And everyone's liking the new photo that I just posted on Instagram. Oh, it's the architecture photo. <laughs> you guys can be like, what? You guys want to see it? You guys want to see it? Go check out my Instagram. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. To check it out. It's a beautiful site. That's all I'm saying. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I like it. And, uh, I hope you guys do too. So if you're new to this channel, I'm a travel photographer. I'm a consultant, as I said earlier. I work for agencies, which I do not, I cannot discuss due to the sensitivity of it when I'm in a civilian contractor. But yeah, I struggle just like you. I'm not, listen, I can be a famous YouTuber and sugarcoat everything. That's what they do. They get famous, they get over their head. Not all, not all of them. They get way over their head. But I'm telling you guys the truth. And uh, life is real during COVID. This is COVID life. This is the new way of life. So don't be alarmed by it. Just take it with the grain of salt. But you, can, you, can, you have a right to be disappointed. You also have a right to be really disappointed with how the government is, especially in this country. Oh, the government is just, yeah, we're going to take our time taking care of the people. Oh, wait, let's, let's have more people die. And then we, then we, we, we let's, make it, let's, let's, take, let's make it to our advantage that we can do something. I, I, I don't like politicians when they put people's lives at risk. I don't like it. And what they are doing, including the, Dem the Democrats, I don't care who's in office. Our lives matter. You want our vote, but you don't want to take care of us. That's not fair. 
you want our vote? How dare you? Where is this photo? Album. Oh, there it is. Holy crap. I'm about to add another photo. I just feel really weird right now. What's going on? Oh. Wow, what was that? I just felt dizzy. I need to be careful. Yes, I know. I know, I know. I always do that. So I'm editing this photo right now, but I'm, I'm putting in my metadata preset tags, panel photographer, so all my photos are copyrighted. I use a system called Digimark. If you guys don't know that system, it's basically like a camouflage. No matter what picture you post online, when you share it, it will let, it notify where it's been shared, who's sharing it, who's watching it, what site is using it. Yeah, this is why I catch people in the act using my images. <laughs> like, how dare you use my images, you scumbag. I took that photo. Dude, I was just there three days ago. <laughs> That's my photograph. You little sneaky little devil. Guys, I went to, mind you, there's some things at this hotel, I think there's a little absurd, but like the Pringle Tater Chips, $2.50. I went to the, the, the gas station, got this for $2.50, because it was on sale. <laughs> and then I got this for $2 at another store, but you don't normally see Belgium on the Stella brands in America. I had never seen that. Well, I, it's not that I never seen it here. It's just like I don't pay attention to it, but it's rare because when I see Belgium, I'm always fascinated. I'm like, ooh, that says Belgium on him. Why? What's going What's <laughs> That's what happened. So take it with the grain of salt. Ow. Oh, arm hurts. Oh, yeah, something's wrong with my, my back and my arm. Don't know what it is. I need to reevaluate my my transportation. So, guys, I'm trying to get raise money. Also, I don't think I can do it right now, but I need to stay. I want to stay here. I want to stay here tonight. So... And I kind of want to stay tomorrow because it's a holiday. Nothing's running. Where am I supposed to go on a holiday? Nothing's open. So uh, I'm going to make a live stream later on. I just want to emphasize the Yulon Z. But I also want to say happy Thanksgiving to those that do celebrate Thanksgiving. I don't do it. Uh, not anything against it. Anything. I just, last time I did it was for students when I was at UW. Ever since then, I haven't celebrated Thanksgiving. It's not one of my my holidays. I'm not really th I'm thankful for you, you, but I'm not thankful for what's going on in my life right now. With the whole EEOC, the lawsuits and the discriminations and spending all my money on legal. Yeah, it's, it's a problem. Oh, and now I feel like some people don't. I, I feel like the American people are not being very mindful. When I say that, I'm talking to including about the hostel there too in San Francisco. And I, I, I like that hostel, but I wish they would have been more open-minded about us cooking because I spent 330 over $300 on food that could have went to extra hostel states or we could have went to an extra day here. And that's what I was trying to emphasize in that video. The money could have went to something even further forward, better. But no. It was a very, I think it was a very un, 
uneducated and very under under professional decision to make. Because a lot of people that stayed at the hostel were really upset about that. They were really upset about it. And it's like, well, I don't understand that. I want to cook a food. I got to save money. What Do they even care? Do they, and then one girl, she's from Portugal, I think. She was like, I don't think they care. They just want to make money to keep doing it. I was like, well, they only have a few staff here. And as a member, I do feel that, that it's a strain. But still, yeah, I agree. They should have looked out for us because we were struggling too. And we were on the grind. And it doesn't it, it's not hard for us to clean behind ourselves. Mind you guys, I've been quarantine free for nine months. I've been tested. So it's not like we don't know how to stay safe. But then again, uh someone said, I don't like that girl. She talks to me like like I'm stupid. <laughs> I I kind of agree. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. There's a girl that was in front of that. She yelled. She doesn't. She talks to you, but she's like, she's like, well, we tried. She yells at you sometimes. And uh, yeah, I think people are full of themselves sometimes, and I think they need to listen to the the the, the traveler that has continued to travel, because. People that work at a household, they travel, right? But they only travel like once every, what, two, three years, maybe? Maybe every once every year or two when they save enough money. Because they got to work at the household full time, right? But like I said, a household job is not that hard. Trust me, it's not. That's Kyle. Ask Carlos from the Madison Hostel. Kyle was from the Chicago Hostel, went to the Madison Hostel because Carlos left. Did you know that the High International asked me to be a manager at the hostel? Remember that? Even the girls that worked there was like, yeah, you should become a manager. It's like, it's not worth my pay. It's going to interfere with everything I do with photography, everything about helping people. Even though I'm helping people, but what about the people that I'm already helping? I want to support. I want to give back. I'm going to ditch those. No, I'm not going to ditch. <laughs> but anyway, as I was explaining, like, I wish the hostel would have gave us that possibility to cook because I could have saved so much money. Oh, wow. Only if you can turn back time. But with that said, I'm going to make a new... I'm gonna make a new. Uh, oh, I'm gonna make a live stream later. I'm gonna be outside doing the fire exposure, so you guys want to stay tuned for that. That's gonna be later around eleven and o'clock at night. It's gonna be late because uh, I don't want to get arrested. Because mind you, California is a dry place, and sending a fire, yeah, it, you gotta be very. Extremely careful in California. If I was by the beach, I wouldn't have a problem. There's moisture, air, salt, salt, salty sea air quality. But I'm in a city, and around here is pretty damn dry. This is yeah. So I also have to make better decisions when doing my photography, and making them and choose wisely what I did. But with that said, I'd be like, oh my back. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh. I see you guys in a few hours. Oh, it's hurt.